welcome aboard tonight. All the people up in Traverse City, I guess we got those. I guess those people are hooked up. What about the people down in down south in Mississippi? Are they on board with us tonight? Not yet. Well, they soon will be. Good evening. Thank you for joining me. I'm Bill Boshears. This is the Size Zone. A lot of interesting stuff to get to tonight. And he just drew a green line through my sandwich. Uh, they heated one of them up, and I'm going to try it here in a second. But before we do that, tonight we're going to talk about everybody's watching the elections, and the elections are coming and going and so on and so forth. Are you seeing in the, uh, the candidates what you want to see? Uh, let me say it a different way. Are they saying things that are meaningful to you? Or are you going, what? I've heard a lot about how much money they've raised. And I've heard a lot about uh, this guy is ahead of that guy, and this guy is ahead of her, and she cried, and he cried, and they shook hands. And all of a sudden, Barack Obama is like, I don't know how many points out front, and all of a sudden she cries. And he's, I mean, he's back to all, uh, starting over. What's up with that? Do you trust that? I personally don't, but that's neither here nor there. My question tonight, and because of this and some email that I took over, people wanting to know, uh, the question came straight at me, Bill, what are they doing? And I said, I really, I can't answer because I don't know what they're doing. I, honest to God, don't know. Uh, and I don't think they do either. The question is, are the candidates presenting the problems? Are they answering the challenge of becoming a president? I haven't heard anyone say anything about the Trans-American Highway that's coming through this country. Have you? Uh, they're coming up through Texas with this highway uh, that's supposed to connect us. And the truckers are just running up and down the road. I don't know. Maybe I got it all wrong. I'd like to hear from you tonight what the candidates should be addressing, the problems, as you see them. I don't really care about how they see them. I want to know if you, have, have they addressed your problems? Or are they just, well, you know, they got a pretty hairdo. You know, he's got a lot of hair. She wears a nice dress. I'll vote for them. Is that the kind of president you want? What are you going to do with it? How are you going to demand it, that they change it? Interestingly enough, what do you want to hear from them? Right now, the number uh, 381, 3838. Glad to have you aboard tonight. I'm Bill Boshears. Till uh, we've got wee hours going on here. And if you're up in Traverse City, Michigan, this number is 513-381-58, uh, no, 381, 3838. Where did I get that 58? Where did that come from? From my tongue is hot from that pepper. That's that pepper. Let's take a pause in the action. I'll tell you what I'm going to do while well, the pause takes over. I'm going to check this out. You haven't seen this, but I'm telling you. Oh, oh we're out. <laughs> Oh, you caught me. Um, well, enough of that sandwich. By the way, that's, that's a beef sandwich. Trust me, unlike anything you've ever had. It's called a hot dog in it. You got to get out there. It's on, uh, on Montgomery Road at uh, 12 82 Montgomery Road. I guess that's 12,082 Montgomery Road. Jump in there. It's called a hot dog in it. Neatest place you've been to. And I got their menu, and I've tried, I'm telling you, I had a hot dog earlier. This is unbelievable. And that beef sandwich, uh, try to get that lady's number. If she's not married, I would really like to consider marrying that lady, cook that sandwich. That's a good one. Anyway, I'm Bill Boshears, your host tonight. And if you stop by the hot dog shack, say hello to Ava for me, will you? 
Tell her that I really appreciate it. Ava, if you're watching, if you're out there on the road coming toward me, hurry up to the studio, dear. And I hope you bring some more of those sandwiches. You're a love of the life. Thank you for saving my life tonight. Let's go right to the phone. We'll get to that, back to that. Let's go to Deborah. She's been there the longest. Deb, you're on the air. Uh, turn your... Te, uh, please, turn uh, yes, your... Sir. How you doing, uh, Bill? Turn your television down. Oh, good Lord, have mercy, huh? You remember me from Westwood, don't you? <laughs> you got How you doing, Bill? I'm doing all right, dear. Glad to have you aboard tonight. What's up? Yeah, right, right, likewise, sir. Okay, yeah, it's about, okay, I do want to, um, I do have a couple comments. Do it. Okay, yes, sir. Oh, uh, let me ask you, do you remember, you remember that I was the one with about talking about the truck driving? And about the conspiracy up, up on the walls of uh, 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 the Washington. You remember me now? A couple months ago? Uh, yeah, oh, okay. I have to say okay, but I have to go no, back and look it up. Go ahead. So, that's okay, honey. I'm, I'm going. I'm getting all timers also, brother. <laughs> I, I don't know what it's that or No, about. no, no, no. Seriously, sir. Go ahead. Um, the answer to this is um, the question about uh, the, can the candidates. Okay, right now they're actually not in power, but... Okay, it's not about that money that's being being projected, sir. Okay, not at all. That, that that that's that's all good. That's all good, and Nandy. Okay, it's it's about it's about the character. It's about how you grown up. It's about what you've been growing, what you done grew into, um, what what you in your <coughs> future, what 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 your what your uh 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 what what, what, what your future's gonna let look me like. Let me help you for a minute. What uh, and this is the question. What has the candidates not said to you? What what are they not covering that affects you? What are they not covering? Yeah. Are, are they telling you everything you want to hear? Uh, are you satisfied with them? Okay, let me, let me say this. Okay. Because there is some miscommunication, what I heard in that. It was what they were saying. Well, okay, what are they so, saying? Oh, you have me on front street, sir. Hurry up, brain. God, God, my thoughts. Amen. God, my tongue. Uh, yeah. That's it right there. They're confirming. Okay, it's confirmation. Okay, the other uh, candidate. I think it was that the one that stepped down and said, uh, um, oh, uh, excuse me, what is his name? Obama Baraka. Whatever. I don't. Is that his name? I, I don't okay. think he. He said, step. He said, go on, brother. He said, this will, this will we need right here. Okay. Okay. In a way, yeah, maybe. I don't know what you have said. I, honest to God, don't. I don't have. Okay, a this is America. Yeah. Okay, this is the land of the melting pot. It's time to get another brother the opportunity and a shot. Connect the dot. Tic tac toe. Okay, thank you. Appreciate the call tonight. Thank you. Let's go right to James. Well, no, uh, I don't. Well, I don't know if I want that. Or not. Anyway, let's go to James. You're there, James. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Um. I'm calling from Hamilton. Yes, sir. And, Glad to have um, you. I haven't, <clears throat> I haven't heard one thing about Social Security, people on disability. I, I agree. Yeah, they, um, I'm one of them. And uh, when we're applying for Social Security, I mean, they expect us to eat you know, little to nothing. You know, like they'll make me have $45 a month. That's $540 a year. Can anybody live off $540 a year? I mean... They need to quit spend, you know, spending all this money, in, you know, overseas and sending these spaceships up, you know, in the outer space, spending billions and billions. Of I dollars, agree. You know, and um, us, you know, people that's on Social Security, uh, Medicaid, everything, it's like you don't get nothing. You know, we're just throwbacks. I agree you know, with you, sir, and and that's you. You want them to address you address even our, more. <clears throat> going for Medicaid and Med Medicaid. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I've lost my screen in here. I don't even know if I'm on this here or not. I've, I've, I don't know who's online what. Uh, let's go to Buck on three. Buck, you there, sir? Yes, sir. How are you? Doing well, sir. Um, on the who's going to be president? Last week you were Wayne or somebody. This week you're Buck. Go ahead. No, no. You're probably talking to my brother. I yeah, have five brothers. I, no, you got five. For real. Okay. I, I have a question for you, though. Hit it. Um, he's talking about presidential candidates. Um, uh, Colonel uh, no, don't go Larry there. Nichols. No, don't go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, he was working for the Clintons, right, in the past? Yes. He worked to help, uh, as I understand it, uh, Bill Clinton get elected. Does he have any um, comments on who's going to be president? 
if he has, you'd have to check with him. I ha I've talked with him two or three times this past week. I have not heard him say anything. Yeah. Um, one other thing for you, sir. Yes, go ahead. Um, seems like you're eating that food there. It don't look too healthy. What business is that of yours? Well, I what the hell you would you call? Why the hell now? would you call me and tell me the food I'm eating is not healthy? Why you pork chop sucking? Look, I back to you, Bill. Back to you. Thank you, sir. Let's go to whoever's on line one. I don't know who that is. Ricky's on line one. Thank you, Ricky. You there? Yes. Go right ahead. I got uh, about the question that you had asked the lady earlier. Yes. About what politicians are not telling me exactly. to benefit Thank me. You. Exactly. What I like to, for them to tell me, because they keep talking about all the jobs and all this economy that they're about to where build. Is I'm that? Try to. Where is that? Where are all those jobs? <laughs> That's what I was getting ready to tell you. If all these companies keep outsourcing to Mexico, to China, wherever, to wherever, why are they getting the benefits of this country if they're taking the jobs to another country? I can't figure that out. The only thing I can sense in this is that you just vote for me and I'll, I'll do something, but I'm not quite sure I'm going to do it because I don't have any... I don't have any kind of plan to secure the borders, but I am going to build a highway right straight up through America, but I don't want to tell you about that. Uh, and I'm going to continue to outsource jobs to the tune of 40 million more by the year 2010. And I didn't want to tell you that, but the economy's great. Don't worry, uh, uh, apple pie and you know, all of the raindrops and all that stuff will come down and there'll be milk and honey for everybody. Uh, but just vote for me. Yeah, but also this. You know how they keep talking about the problems with housing and all the foreclosures? Yeah. The reason we're having so many foreclosures is so many companies are shutting down and people are losing their jobs, they can't pay for their homes. You have hit it directly on the head, my friend. There can't is pay not, for it if you don't have it. There's not a housing bubble. It is a lending bubble backed up by a no jobs bubble that's getting bigger. Mm -hmm. All right, my friend, I appreciate it. Thank you for being there. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. We're going to take a pause in the action right here. And while I do that, I'm going to uh, have this hot dog. <laughs> That was a good hot dog. And if you go out to the hot dog and it, sell, uh, say hello to Ava for me, Ava Baldwin. At, by the way, that place is at uh, uh, 1220 82 Montgomery Road. And I'm telling you, the hot dogs get better. You know, that's worth, that's what it's all about. This is good food. The pay ain't much, but the food is terrific. I'm telling you, Ava, you did a magnificent job. Tell Ava I said hello, Ava Baldwin. Great, greatest lady in the world. Tell her I said hello. Anyway, hot dog. Let's stop by. Let's go back to the phone. 381-3838. I'm Bill Shears here for the next few minutes. Let's go to Ron. Ron, you're on the air. Uh, this is Don. Don, you're on the air. Hi, Bill. Hey, I was going to come down, buddy, and help you eat that hot dog. I wish you would have. No, I'm glad you didn't. It was says. worth it. He's out of his mind. He don't know good food when he sees it. Who's that? That guy just previously called him. You know, what a wild man. Anyway, about the hot dog said it wasn't good for you. You know, eat a good hot dog, enjoy life. That's you know? what it's all about. That and a good game of baseball, a cold beer, what you else got is got it. That's, you know. Hey, I want to talk about, to me it's appalling, is the way the veterans are not mentioned at all. Boy, you are you dead on that. Go ahead. It's appalling. I mean, I'm an ex-vet. I don't need help from the Veterans Administration, but I have friends. It's a good thing. You probably moved. couldn't get it. Exactly. That's my whole point. My brother went through hell high water just to get signed up for it. It uh -huh. took him almost six months. Now he still has problems getting medicine, uh, getting help. You have to go down there waiting long lines. It's pathetic, Bill. And it's, this, this has been going on long, even before first Bush. 
You know, you're right. It has been going on way too damn long. I mean, we're good, along, good enough to die for the country. Can't you give us a help, you know? Not you, but I'm saying, you know. Of course, I understand. I understand. <laughs> and it, it's, it's sad, you know. Don, you're a fine American. Thank you for calling. Give my best to your brother. Take care and stay safe, my God friend. God bless you, Bill. You got it. Bye-bye. Let's go to uh, Eric. Eric, you're on the line. Oh, hi, Bill. Yeah, yeah, you're making, making some people hungry here. So. I'm sorry. It's late <laughs> night, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what time they close up. But yeah, do they close up at 11 o'clock? On Saturday night, it's 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday's 12 to 8 p.m. you got to go try that hot dog, man. That's a uh, Chicago-style yeah. hot dog. <laughs> That's the only place in Cincinnati I know you can get one of them. But yeah. i got to warn you, they got some little peppers like that. Don't touch them peppers. That's not for the well, faint of that, heart. Well, that's my thing, though. You, know, you like the peppers? Hell, oh, hell hot. Hell oh, hot. Tell, uh, tell uh, Ava you want some of them peppers. You put a couple in there, and they'll last you a month. That sounds good. Sounds good stuff. Good. good stuff. Yeah, yeah, on Bill's recommendation. But hey, check it out. All right. Now, I tuned in when uh, uh, I was reading What Issues Matter uh, uh, you know, with the election. And, you know, some of the obvious stick out. Like, you know, we, after what we've gotten the last eight years, are obviously looking for truth, integrity, and, you know, someone who's going to get into Washington not being, you know, influenced by big money and all the, you know, scandals and shit can get involved up there, right? The, what what so got the, me, I got, a, I got a clip for you right after the, we do the break. We got a clip coming out. I want you to hear. You know who Helen Thomas is? I'm not familiar. Helen Thomas is a reporter that was in the White House doing reports when George Washington was there. She's an elderly lady, about 80-some years old, but I'm going to tell you what, she's an astute reporter. And uh, what she had to go through, and I've, we got a clip up, we'll see it later. But the press is not being, and Helen's not one of them, mm -hmm. but trying to get the news and information to us is a full-time job. We're not getting any reporting of any kind of uh, incident. We're not getting news out of Iraq that's not three or four days old. Oh, well, and yeah. I'm, all we're getting is a political spin. And these the, candidates... The, prop, the propaganda of, you know, our bias. Exactly. Our media. It, it, yeah, you got you can have in other channels, you know, you, we just recently learned that it's over, you know, 160,000 Iraqis dead and counting, you know. I and mean, still counting. Like, yeah. uh, and it, you know, we've you won't got, hear it here. You know. No, and we've got the candidates walking around like, uh, I don't know, I was around here a minute ago. Mm. I'm wondering, where the hell are they getting off of this stuff? They haven't, we've still got our borders wide open. We're still fighting a war on terror somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're trying to start a war someplace in the Middle East. And we're trying to steal Iraq's oil. Yeah, and you know, and you know, come like you know, summertime, like it is every election, they're going to start biting on each other even more. Oh, which, is, which is just, I mean, the candidates, I'm saying, and it's just going to disgruntle anyone who wants to vote. Like, well, who are they going to bite when they're up in uh, Washington? You know, I'll tell I mean, you what. What's the, you know? They're going to they're, they're going to destroy <laughs> Osama. You wait and see. Oh, it's uh, they're going to destroy I'm sure that it's a, man. It's the tip of an iceberg of you know. That's just the, the, and yeah. rearranging the chairs on the Titanic is not going to help that. They're going to get him. They're going to get him. And Ron Paul, it, will, it wouldn't surprise me. You know, we got a lot of icy weather and stuff like that. Uh, mm. I hope nothing happens to him. It, you know, in a, another interesting little quick fact of maybe history repeating itself is when the Visigoths conquered the Roman Empire with three ships, 100 people each, 300 people, and now 75% of Norwegians, uh, it's known, are, are descendants of Persia. So... When those five boats go out to the three U.S. naval ships, you know, five, five apiece, you know, you know, I mean, they got a little bit of blood there that, you know, is not fucking around. I mean, I'll... Oh. That's all right. Uh, anyway. I mean, I mean, I've talked with some theologian, theolog you know, theologian friends, and, you know, we go on that stuff like, well, pfft, you know, uh, but we don't also hear... How the three, you know, ships were inching in a little bit more towards Iran on our well, news. On our it, news, it's going to it's know. going to change. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, yeah. It, it's sickening the propaganda we get fed and like half, you know, are, are chose to believe, if, you know, and that no. Eric, know? I got to run, but I appreciate your call, sir. Thank yeah, you. Take care. Take care. Let's go quickly to Randall. You're on the air, sir. Hi, Bill. It's Randall and Bellevue. You're faithful. Yes. Randall. Um, 
I'm calling about the remark that the gentleman made about the veterans at VA hospital. Yes. I'm a veteran. I've yes. been going there for 16 years on Vine Street in Cincinnati. Uh-huh. I have a whole world of doctors from around the world that are taking care of me. If I have to wait six hours for medicine, it's not costing me a penny. You've got to give as well as take. I'm sick of people complaining about VA hospital because they are doing a great job. They're, with what they've got, they're doing a marvelous job. They're doing a great job, and it just sickens me that people can't be patient. It's, they're not the only persons that are sick, and they see thousands of people there a day. All right, my friend. Good point. Well taken. Thank you, sir. You're quite welcome. Let's go to Teresa. Teresa, you're there, dear. I am. Um, I was just wanted to make a point that I think the reason America's in such a mess is because our leaders don't believe in America anymore. They've got this quote-unquote global interest, which is where all the money is, and why would they secure borders? They have every intention of pulling down. Well, they have absolutely no uh, reason to secure them because we're going to take uh, NAFTA and GATT and build the International Superhighway, and by the way, you might want to get ready. You're going to start using Ameros. Well, see, that's another thing. They're, they're more interested in making an American or a North American, South American version of the European Union. Exactly. So they don't believe in America, so they aren't serving the American people. They're serving this Here's what got global me. mess. Here's what got me. How in God's name can a president go out and decide to sign an agreement with uh, Vicente Fox and a guy from Canada without the Congress, the approval of Congress? How, how does that get done? His, well, you know, Bill Clinton did it. Exist anymore. Bill Clinton did it, and so did his daddy. They've all done little tiny pieces along the way, and you've got to look at it and go, boy, this sucks. I'll tell you why. You've lost rights, and you're about ready to lose all the jobs that's left in this country. I believe it. I appreciate your call, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to Marie. Marie, you're out there. Turn your... By the way, folks, when you get here, turn your on the phone. Turn your television down. When you go ahead, Marie. Marie, I'll put her on and go back over here to Ron. Ron, are you? Uh, do Bill, ahead. can you hear me this time? I can hear you this time. All right, buddy. It's all about jobs. It's all about jobs. It's all about jobs. We need jobs, and we need them bad, and we need them now. Well, I don't know where you're going to get them. I don't know who. I don't know how the these presidential candidates are even addressing that. They're, obviously, they're not. They're not addressing it. And on top of that with gas prices, if you do find a job, it's 20, 30 miles out. And it's, you're hard-pressed to get back and forth to work, trying to fill up your tank. Uh, and, and it's just, it's, it's out there, man. You know, I, what, what are they going to do? That's my question to them. What are you going to do as far as getting jobs in here? And getting Americans you, back to you work. would be doing okay until you ask that question. See, nobody at any of these press conferences has asked that question. Uh, they, do you realize the people in Iowa were paid $186 a piece to come in there and listen to that crap? Yeah, I've heard that around. I've heard that on um, 700. And, uh, well, you know. the, the idea is that they did it, and nobody seems to mind. Yep. Yeah, bunch of sheep. You got it, brother. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. the call, Ron. Later. Let's go to, uh, and please turn your televisions down. James, you're on the air. Yes. Hey, Bill. Hey, I was just wanting to let everybody out there know that they have an a opinion, and they, they got the right to express it. But either way, uh, what, I was trying to, what I'm trying to get to is uh, people over in Iraq, you see that woman that was... Uh, that was uh, uh, kidnapped and murdered. I mean, that's crazy to me. And and they got an investigation going on this long. That should have been already solved. I agree. I, mean, I, agree. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I, I am completely lost. A woman oh, what, in Iraq was kidnapped? Yeah, she was pregnant, kid, raped, and kidnapped. Oh, and, okay. I didn't yeah. hear that. That's a tragedy. I hope they get the guys who did that. Anyway, I appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we're going to take a pause in the accident, and I'm going to try to get some of this meat out of my teeth. You guys stick around. Don't take your seatbelts off. We'll be right back.
by the way, you want to go to uh, WBQZ or WBQC's uh, website and register for tickets. Uh, join me this week, uh, Thursday night, 7.30. Uh, tickets for uh, 27 dresses from the people that gave you the Devil Wears uh, Prada. Uh, same outfit, same guy, same director. You'll enjoy it. It's going to be a fun movie. Uh, 27 dresses this Thursday night. Jump online, register, win the tickets. Join me there, and uh, we'll see you. We'll see you there. Uh, let's go to Lee. Lee, you're on the air. I'm sorry, Lee, I did that the wrong way. I get. Lee, you're there. Go ahead. Hey, my question is, what are they going to do for me? When I vote for them, what are they going to do? Are they going to are they going to fix these this oil thing they got going on? Are they going <laughs> to fix this research? You know, all these all, fix all these like cancer and all find some use for this medicine they got. Yeah. What are they going to do? Probably what they've always done. Nothing. They, yeah. It, nothing. Like they like always nothing. You Just got it, my there, friend. Sit there, sit on their high chair, and do jack shit. Anyway, let's go right to Sandy. You're on the air, Sandy. Well, how are you tonight? Doing well, ma'am. Thank you. Well, I have a couple comments. First of all, yesterday in the mail, I got my statement from Social Security of my yearly earnings. Uh -huh. They were $6,313. Boy, you tore them up. How am I going to live on that? The second comment I have to make is I hear everybody complaining, myself as well, but it reminds me of a, a quote I heard one time, ask not what my country can do for me, ask what I can do for my country. And thirdly, for the gentleman that was wondering how we were going to get jobs in America, yeah. if all the Americans would only buy American-made products, there would be jobs in America. They'd have to be. Sandy, you got a great point. I wish people would manufacture stuff where we, so we could buy them. Or maybe they are to start doing that with their dollars. There you go. Thank you, dear. Appreciate your call tonight. Good night, Bill. Got you. I don't know about this next caller. L Lion, you're on the air. Go ahead. No, you're not. Um, let's go to... See, I ask you to turn down your television. I don't... I, I don't care. I don't know what it was. It could have been his mother-in-law. I don't care. I don't want to hear that. So if you're going to call me, turn your radio down or your tele, whatever you're listening to, I don't need to hear it. Just listen to the show. Be patient. We'll get right with you. Let's go to Dave, who's been standing by. Dave, you're there, sir. Go ahead. I just wanted to know uh, who you think the next president will be, uh, Barack Hussein Osama or Hillary? Uh, that's not much of a choice. Did you hear that they both voted to make uh, English not the American language? Yes, I did. Them and along with other 30-some Democrat uh, presidents or candidates, yeah. That's crazy, ain't it? Yes, it is. Well, that's, that's all I had to say. I appreciate it. That's the way it goes. Thank you, sir. Bye. Let's go to Bill. I think Bill's there. Bill, are you there, sir? Hello, Bill. How are you doing? Fantastic. Well, Working on the rest of it, sir. I hear you. Okay, on the question here, to me, I, I watch the debates and I end up turning them off because... It always seems is that the questions that are that are asked by the supposedly correspondents exactly are so well versed. You're you're reading my mail, and you don't have you never hear one of the uh, candidates have to stutter because they can't come up with an answer. But, why don't uh, why don't the candidates go to local television stations like this one in Cincinnati and let you talk to them? Exactly. No, we can't do that. They'll ask me questions I don't know about, and I don't want to look like a fool. You it, are an idiot. Idiot anyway, so you might as well wear it. As far as about the uh, Veterans Administration and the hospitals and what have you, my father-in-law was in World War I, and as many times as he went to the hospital, they just gave him some pills and turned him away. They never did anything else for his back because we don't have the proper facilities. We don't want to put the money in for these facilities that's Bring a tragedy. Take care of the people who serve the country. We're absolute tragedy, uh, Bill. I appreciate your call, sir. Thank you. Good talking with you. Got you. Let's go to Mike. Mike, you're on the air. Hello, Mike. All right. Go ahead, sir. You're on the air. Uh, I just want to know what's up with Social Security and everything now. Because, you know. What's up with young, it? Young, young guys out here working now and uh they're financing the wars over there and everything. What's up with that? 
I really couldn't tell you. But I appreciate your call there. Good night. Good night. So what's up with that, huh? So so what's up with that? That's what's up with it. Annette, you're on the air. Thank you. Hello, Bill. Hi, how are you, Annette? Pretty good. Better off talking to you. Uh, so what's up with that? How's that working out for you, baby? Hey, you lift me up with the truth. Well, you got big kahunas, I'll tell you. Whoa, hello. Uh, hey. I didn't know. Uh, well, uh, you... you you're only saying that because it's true. <laughs> it's a fact. It's a fact, Jack. What's on your mind tonight, Annette? Let's get serious. Okay. Well, they talk about the stock market being stable. Well, that, well that's a global thing. And your top six stocks are all Chinese. you got to go to the Standard & Poor's, you know, <laughs> for the American. Meanwhile... They have raised Social Security by 3.2%. Oh. The water has went up 17.8%. That was one of the last Post headlines. I would like to pose a question to Giuliani. Like you said, that they could come around and have like a, an honest forum where people could actually, you know. And like, they wouldn't have to spend the money to get people to ask him questions. If, yeah, well, and write you know. up stupid ones, you know, like nobody gives a... <clears throat> yeah, and, I got you. I got yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, hey, I'm trying to be good. You are good. You are good. Okay. Well, to Mr. Giuliani, if he's such a great leader, why do I see a fireman on the fifth anniversary of 2000, of 2000, uh, 9-11, on the fifth anniversary, so be 2006, crying and trying to get manpower and money to get body parts off of the buildings. It, PBS is a great station. Whoa. I, I watched Bill Moyers, and he had, and he had on uh, one of our favorites, Ron Paul. Yes. They, they wouldn't give him airtime on Fox, which is owned by the Rockefellers. You know, how, how Well, you don't get, think for a minute that uh, that other guy, uh, what's his finish. Yeah, none of that. I of want the, them run. I, they would make a hell of a balance. Hell, hell of a You'd balance. You'd have a, a Democrat and a Republican, and let's form a whole new party and just flush these corrupt things out of here. That's the way to do it. And that I appreciate it. Thank you, dear. Thank you. We're going to take a pause, Jackson, and come right back, if you will. I'm Bill Bochiers. Don't go away. And please jump in. It's your turn. Size on Bill Blow Shears, if you will, this week, please jump on to uh, the website WBQC and register uh, and get yourself some tickets for Thursday's uh, premiere movie of 27 Dresses. We'd love to have you, love you to be there. I'll be there, Elliot will be there, Art will be there, uh, Dave will be there, all the, all the gang in there. You'll get to meet them, shake hands, they'll give you their autograph, and Art will be passing out pictures. That's right, Art's got signed autograph pictures you can get free. Got, get them. Get them, girls. Anyway, the 27 Dresses uh, by the same people who brought you The Devil Wears Prada. Good movie, and this will be a fun flick, too. Let's go uh, right to the phone. Let's, somebody been there the longest. Let's talk to Ron. Ron, you're there, sir. Hey, Bill. How you doing? Doing well, sir. Glad to have you aboard tonight. Good. Hey, uh, just a couple quick things, uh, if you don't mind. Please, uh, right ahead. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, Long-time WLW listener, I appreciate what you do. Uh, I wanted to bring up a couple things about uh, immigrants nice. and NAFTA. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, with the uh, market economy, uh, unemployment rate should stay around 3 or 4%. That provides growth as well as a buffer. Um, if you took all the immigrants, that, immigrants out of the country, you know, that would drop down to zero and inflation would rise. And... Um, you know, that would be bad for our country. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, when sir. we put people back to work, inflation rises? No. I said if you took all the immigrants out of the country, okay? Okay. Uh, illegal immigrants, I'm sorry. Yes, do the illegals. Right. Okay, gotcha. Right, right. The unemployment rate would rise, and inflation would also rise because that puts pressure on wages. Are you saying unemployment would rise? Absolutely. Oh, my question to you then is, 
Who was doing the job before they got here? I mean, I'm just, that's just a question. Sure, I understand that, and it's actually immaterial. But the oh, fact okay. remains. That, good enough. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. The fact, remain, the fact remains is, you know, typically in the market economy, you want about a 3%, maybe a 4% unemployment rate, you know, because we do have a safety net in the country, and yes, there are poor and are homeless and everything else that we have to take care of. However, if you take these people out of the country who are doing work, okay, and expect Americans to pick that up, we can't do that. So the unemployment rate would go down to zero, which puts uh, wage pressure uh, on on the companies, and inflation rises. And that happened in, during Jimmy Carter's term. Trust me, it did. Okay, it, this is true. Um, actually, the best way to deal with that is capital gains tax cuts, which typically is considered a Republican thing, but however, many people don't know that John Kennedy was the first president who initiated capital gains tax cuts. Okay. But I'll, I'll leave that alone. Uh, please. As far as NASA is concerned, um, or other economic uh, unions, such as the EU, uh, you know, it's considered a good thing because it does allow for uh, expanded trade. I'll tell now, you what, the, you, don't want to go, you don't want to go to London and say what you just said. Well, sir, they're more of a socialist-type country than we are. I can't help that. There are people right I. now that would hang you from a yard arm for saying that in London. Well, they, I, hate, I, they are fighting the executive union. By the way, let me ask you this. Yes, sir. Are you in favor of this uh, Texas uh, corridor coming up through here? I'm sorry? Are you in favor of that uh, NAFTA highway coming up through the country? Well, uh, you know, I've heard, I've heard you speak about this on previous programs, but I really, you know, haven't read anything in the newspapers. I'll tell you what, else. right, right there. That's not, a, not that's, that I don't believe you. I know you believe me. What you need to do is check it out. Go okay, to but, Google. But how, but how is that germane to, you know, what I'm speaking of? It's germane because it's directly tied to all the NAFTA and GAFTA stuff that you're telling me that you're for. And well, how good it is for the country. Sir, there, there, there you're over a year. There, there are good points to it and there are bad points to it. Nothing is black and white. Okay, you tell me what's good about open borders. There's nothing good about open borders. Not Thank you. I appreciate the call. I got to run, but you're right one, on the one, money. One, one, one more. Uh, let's go. Kay, you're on the air. Hey, Bill. I'm from Milford, Ohio. Thank you. Glad to have you. Uh, thank you. Uh, this stuff with Obama and Oprah and Will Smith and everything. Let me ask you, why, are you gonna, how are you going to get him to take the oath of office when he won't Rate, you know, the Pledge of Allegiance. That's right. That's right. And, okay, I, that's, I mean, that's just me. I, I'm kind of funny that way. Uh, I kind of respect America. And, uh, right, right. Well, I don't I trust him. I'll be honest with you. Go ahead. Why is, he, why is he asking Oprah and all these other stars to back him up? Money. When he's not even telling us money. what he's wanting. It's called money. Right. They're right. Uh, see, after the election, they can keep the money. Yeah, that's right. You got it. Yeah, well, he's, he doesn't have my vote. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. Thanks Let's go to Doug. Doug, you're there, sir. Hey, Bill. Uh, how you doing tonight, sir? I'm quick, being quick on the trigger. Go ahead. Good, good. Um, <clears throat> I have a comment about the, the guy that you just talked to a minute ago. Uh, like you said, you know, I agree with you. I mean, what's wrong with our borders being closed in the first place? Well, he, he was about ready to start bleeding all over me, and I, I'm going to let that I'm going to let that happen. Right, I too exactly. many other things to do. Yeah, I mean this business about the highway going from. Uh, he, didn't, he hadn't know anything about that. No, they don't want to talk about that. It's somewhere right. up exactly. in the ethers. Exactly. All you got to do is go to Google and put Trans American Highway and watch what they do to you. Right, they freak it's a, out. It's a sin what they've done. That's and here's exactly the other right. part. That That's guy is one of the guys who voted for the guy that's in there right now that put that together. Bush signed it without the Congress or anybody else knowing about it. And Marcy Kaptur, uh, is that her name? Marcy Kaptur's from around here. Uh -huh. She brought it out. It's, it's on YouTube. Go look, or yeah, YouTube. Go look at it. A woman did a hell of a job. Marcy I mean, Kaptur. I'd like to run her for president. At least we know where she's coming from. Well, you know what? If, 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 the borders in this country had been closed a long time ago, like just say, for example. Oh, we couldn't get our drugs in then. Well, that's. <laughs> How the hell are we going to get our Coke and stuff for the Washington, D.C.? Yeah, there's your problem right that, there. That's a whole deal. 
And, and the fact of the matter is, if, if at some point in time we had closed the borders, then, then 9-11 would have never happened because those, those fruitcakes uh, from the uh, Middle East would have never been here in the first place to be exactly. able to pull the stunt they pulled. Right? It's exactly it. But I'm not so sure they did. Anyway, that's another show, and we'll do that later. I'm, I'm still trying to get around that. I'm still trying to get my mind around how a 40-story building, never happened in the history of the world, caught fire and fell on its own footprint, and all the structures inside of it fell after it was on fire. Well, you're right. That's, that's very fishy also. Well, and so are the trade towers falling in the same footprint within 10 seconds of each other, 15, 20 seconds, yeah. and they fell at the same rate as a free fall idea. Right. Excuse me, you could have thrown a, a grand piano out the window and it would have fell at the same rate the building did. And you're telling me that the jet fuel did that? I ain't buying that. Not a nickel's worth. I'm not either. And you got it, it, my friend. I appreciate the call. Thank okay, you. Okay, brother. Have a good one. You too. Uh, let's take a break. When we come back, I want to play a clip for you. Don't go away. Mrs. Thompson needs this. She's going to get it for me. Play that thing when we come back. We'll be right back. on his watch. I know uh, I'm talking about all troops. Well, 5,700 troops will be home by the end of the year. So that is some troops coming home. The president said that troop levels are going to be made by commanders on the ground and we're going to have to Why should it be? talk Why about the American people have a say. The American people have had a say. They elected a president who is their commander in chief and is making decisions based on what his commanders on the ground are telling him. Do you think that was the vote of the American people? They elected a commander in chief, and the president is um, bringing home 5,700 troops based on the recommendations of his commanders on the ground and uh, based on return on success. Hopefully, in the future, we can bring home more, but it's going to. It's going to depend on what General Petraeus reports. And remember, he will come back in March. Because he's the commander on the ground, Helen. He's the one who is making sure that the situation is moving. How many more people we kill? I just, Helen, I find it really unfortunate that you use your front row position bestowed upon you by your colleagues to make such statements. This is an, it is an honor and a privilege to be in the briefing room and to suggest that we at the United States are killing innocent people is just absurd and very offensive. Do you know how many we have? How many? We have. We are going after the enemy, Helen, to the extent that any innocent Iraqis have been killed. We have expressed regret for. Well, regret it doesn't bring back a life. Helen, we are in a war zone, and our military works extremely hard to make sure that everyone has the opportunity for liberty and freedom and democracy, and that is exactly what they're doing. I'm going to move on. Questions. Um, you heard the question. 186,000, I'm told. Helen Thomas needs to get uh, some sort of award for that. And for the rest of the people uh, who didn't see that or don't know what that is, Helen Thomas has been there and done that. And she wasn't swayed. Uh, that's the kind of reporters we need, period. Let's go to Rachel. Been there longer than anybody else should have been. Rachel, you're there. Go ahead. Hi, yeah, this is Rachel. Um, the way this country's going, I think we're going to be one of the poorest countries because of the way things, you know, uh, people are sending their companies overseas and laying off a lot of people, and I, I don't know. It's, Rachel, I haven't heard one, uh, not, I haven't heard one presidential candidate address that issue, not one. Yeah. It's well, like, I think it's like... This is all going to be just hunky dory, and it's going no, to be I, I la think they la need land. To, they need to check in on that because, uh, the, I mean, we are getting all these immigrants, and we hardly have enough money for the Americans. And I work at a retail store, and it's just, I don't know. They just have it so easy. Don't listen to your health Anyway, um, let's not do that. Uh, Steve, you're on the air. Somebody trying to make a ridiculous... Uh, a nice remark or intelligent, and then some idiot like that. Steve, are you there, sir? 
Yes, I'm here. I'm I'm wondering why no one's talking about Ron Paul. I mean, isn't he? I I would love to talk about Ron Paul. You're the first one guy brought him up earlier tonight. Do I think he's going to win? I think I. It'll be surprised if they let him live. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about too. But we need to spread the word about Ron Paul because the more people who know about Ron Paul, the more people will wake up about this propaganda machine and. If he doesn't stuff. get if he doesn't get the Republic nomination, he will stop and run on an independent. And oh, there's yeah. where he'll win. Definitely. You He's got definitely it, my friend. Run. I appreciate the call. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Really bright people out there. Diane, you're there. Yes. Um, you know, as far as the elections go and yeah. everything like that, I every day I try to watch everything I can, read everything I can. And they're not solving any problems for the simple fact that these problems can't be solved in a short matter of time. They're not even addressing them in their campaign. No. And city by city, every city in this United States is going through the same thing Cincinnati is as far as manufacturing jobs. They're losing them. Their medical, their uh, Social Security, the war, taxes. Everybody is so beaten up but nobody my whole out. point was my whole point was is the presidential candidates on either party are not addressing that no they're not it's but like th well we, but doesn't it amaze you that this is what we got to choose from in the united states i would be ashamed to be a democrat or a republican tell me that's what i've got to choose from absolutely and that's what i think the majority of us is so upset over you it's like it. we've had enough. We've had enough, and that's where it's going to stop. I've had enough. I'll see you next week. Don't you go away. Okay, thank you, thank dear. you, Bill. Bye-bye. Folks, I want uh, take time out of your schedule to look around. You're being duped by the media. Not here, but uh, the other stations are duping you. They're not telling you the truth because they can't find it. Join me here every week right here in the Sci Zone. I'm Bill Boshears. Oh, it's going to get better because it's all going to be about you, your ideas, your thoughts, right here, every week, looking at edges and ideas that are cutting edges and leading ideas. Be good.